Rachel is one of our seniors at Myrtle Beach High School. She is one of our honor students. She excels here at the school. She takes not only just honors classes, but she takes our dual enrollment classes, so our PACE classes where she's enrolled in college at the same time as high school. She has excelled at uh, being a leader in the school. She participates in different sports and she's involved in our teacher cadet program this year where she actually goes to the elementary and middle schools to help the students there. Rachel last year was diagnosed with a rare form of ovarian cancer. She wasn't nominated because of the cancer, she was nominated because of how she dealt with it and with such grace and determination of excelling and getting through um, the cancer diagnosis. She had some really tough days and dark days that you wouldn't have noticed if you looked at her. She always was smiling and happy and happy to help anyone else. But she had, you know, some tough days. She has told her story with just the victories of her story and getting through the cancer and encouraging and motivating others um, and just to live their life in like grander ways. So she was nominated for those reasons. We also started Teal Tuesday for, for Rachel. So every Tuesday we wear teal. Last year, every Tuesday we wore teal for um, recognition, recognition of ovarian cancer. The leadership is, is just showing by example and the things she has done to just reach out and for anyone that has been diagnosed or just anything hard in their life, just that doesn't prepare you for the mental or physical challenges that you have to go through and Rachel has shown you through her leadership and her just the way she communicates with other students that you can survive this, you can get to the other side of this. It, ha it will change you a little bit with uh, anything traumatic or the diagnosis that she went through but that you become a better person and you can come on the other side. So Rachel shows us that every day. So by example and what she's gone through, she is a leader here to all of us and an example, especially to myself, um, to put what's most important in front of everything and quit worrying about the little things. I think the fact that everything that she went through last year, that you almost wouldn't have noticed it uh, unless you knew everything. You didn't see her hard days. You didn't see the suffering, the crying, and uh, not being able to go to football games or hang out with her friends. You didn't see that side of it. She came to school with that smile, that encouraging way, that, um, again, just for us to live in grander ways and to set an example of motivation and to really focus on the important things. That makes her a real kid, for sure.